and convenience. Bumped it off. Okay. Oh, and the tripod's got a fucking problem. I'm just starting to use it, and it's the one of the feet fell off and the screw thingies for. I'm going to have to go get super glue. I'm furious. It's so nice. And I sent an email I found today. The my the nice cell phone holder for the tripod from Shane Me. There's an email address. So I uh, sent an email. I'm going to try to get the other part and fix this. And I still haven't fucking tested to see if these glasses work. I can't fucking get it. Tomorrow, I need to, like, I'll set this out here. So remind me to do it. Tomorrow, I'm going to go set up my office. i got a place outside where I can get power, internet with my phones, and I pay a lot of money for the phones, and I get incredible amounts of uh, hotspot now. Three times 40, so 120 gigabytes of hot spots okay and this is much more organized than it looks now i just this is the laptop and i got it set up i'm gonna be doing tomorrow i got mushrooms too oh that's the where, where did those go so the dude i bumped into the dude from a festival the one that i met and was real cool with me and impressed me like how, how together he was when he was stripping i met him on the street on accident i was out flying my sign today i'm at work and yep giving out business cards, trying to get new people in. You gotta work. I don't have to do it. I've got plenty of money. Plenty of money. But I chose to do it to make sure. New pair of shoes. And then that's when I met him too. So that was like a hundred bucks. He gave me free shit. And he said he'd be in touch and like I don't have a lot of friends and stuff to me at school. Oh what is this doing over here? This is the 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 bitches, the fraud, the libel and slander that she been spreading in the neighborhood about me. Okay, so yeah. Oh, these are over here. That's just a couple down here. These are the socks that are not paired. It's a ridiculous amount. I was talking about that the laundry mat. Okay, and I need to pull them all out and see if I can get some matches now. Oh, wait, there's one in there. It's just an off sock I don't really use. Still put it in there. Now I wear the long socks. This is all socks. In fact, hold on, I need fresh socks tonight. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna go shower extra. I don't mean I worked out pretty hard last night, and I'm, I'm, but I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna do a little bit of workout stuff and get in the hot tub and shit tonight, right? just because. It's a minor workout. My weight's down. I almost hit into the 60s the other day. I was right at 70, 270. Probably a bit up from that now, but no more than 75. Not bad for me right now. Got the wine still. Two of the four bottles are gone. I'll get more, two more vlogs when I shoot that. Have a nice dinner with wine. I'll pair it too. I'll read the read up about it, and I'll eat something that goes with that wine. And I serve it how they recommend to. It. It's chilled. I'll go get ice, and I'll make it chilled. Oh, I'm starting to sweat. Anyway, like I said, it's a lot of work, man. Life's a lot of work when you're poor like this and you've just got to make everything out of nothing and learn how to do so many things and people constantly just bullying you. Richard Crown Megazole pedophile himself is active right now. Um, and I've been telling people for a long time, like the he got people like Luis Stefano to bully me, but he's sitting back and watching and should people stop bullying me, he'll go get more people. Like he's still the ringmaster. That's what you call him. I can all pedophile. That's that's the one. Who else? Uh, the heavy sleeping bag. <sighs> I don't need that right now. So, oh, I'm starting to fade. I was going to do it tonight. I was going to do mushrooms and fucking go chill and do it tonight. But I, I stopped. I was like, wait a second. I'm starting to get tired already. I got sleeping pills. I'm gonna, I want to have a good hard night sleep tonight. And then tomorrow, I'll be prepared, and I'll do it tomorrow. But tomorrow night, I'll take the laptop, take the bomb, I'll take everything I'll set up, have a good old time. Jack Manny was um, 
running his mouth about a bunch of shit. But one of the things he said was clean the bong. I did. Fresh cleaned. Fresh isopropyl. Yep. So, I'm doing whatever I can do, man. I'm trying. People are just making it so hard. I watched a documentary on uh, uh, stalkers just the other day, and they were saying about how the stalkers think you deserve it. What on? You don't fucking understand what you're dealing with. I have been abused my whole life. I'm a, actually a really good guy. I don't like stealing. I've minimized. I've shoplifted some in my life, but not much. Not anywhere near what you would. You would be shocked if you saw a little. You would be shocked. And I never yahooed beer or liquor. Like, I don't steal. On the East Coast, when I, I was forced to steal something from the corner gas station, it was never beer. It was always... Like, it, I wouldn't steal a Snickers. I would steal a Power Bar because it has more nutrition. And it's been a long, long time. I just don't have to... I, I really just don't take anything. I don't fuck people over. I'm not a bigot for all the cursing and shit like that. I don't treat people differently based on what you call race. I don't understand evolution. We're all African apes. All of us. Every human. Every homo sapien. I don't care. The individual and how they act is like it. It's, oh, so many things. What are you think I deserve to be punished for? I may have failed in life, but I've tried hard. I was a good student. I worked hard right when I was still in high school and at my parents' house and shit. I worked real hard. I did everything I could do. I just failed. So why kick someone while they're down and make it worse? Just Stop. Stop, you fuckers. The bullies are sadists. That's what I've learned. And it scares me because now that I know how bad sadists are, it, it changes how I feel about my mother. Like, I really do have issues with my mother. Well, I, I'm worried now. I'm, I understand uh, her wickedness better. And it's not good. There's other sh countless little stories, uh, like her cats. Like the, that first year of college, when I've still talked to them some. I came home the I when I went off to school. Her one of her cats just had kittens, and the kittens were playing age and stuff, and they were so friendly. And they I could just go in with the room where their box was, and they'd all come out and poke at my feet, and I loved, it was so sweet. And I went away and come back a couple of months later. And it was hunting me. The one of they only kept one of the kittens, and then crackers and biscuits, and the, the the mother and one kid, and it hunted me. It was like, Rawr! it'd get up on the couch and try to scratch me. And it was wicked. Like it, it it hated me because its master, Jean, my my quote unquote mother, had ill feelings toward me. So her pets picked up on it, and Pepper did that too. The cat. From my earliest childhood, he used to fucking cut me up when I was three or four years old. My father beat me because I walked too hard. My cadence was too heavy. They're like, that's why you're scaring him. But no, the cat, she didn't like me, and her cat picked up on it. But then Pingling, the one that uh, uh, Kimberly was talking about, Kimberly Hunter, one of my stalker slash ex-flame, whatever you want to call that, uh, it, she was spayed right around the time they bought me and she turns out she was pregnant when she got spayed they didn't think she was they said she wasn't but she got spayed and lost the litter the liver litter was halfway finished developing and then they brought me home and she took the mother in me and it always mothered me Pingling was my cat but the other ones hated me my mother was a cat lady the other ones Hate it. Like, they drew blood, man. Oh. I'm so sick of the bullies. I'm a good dude. You don't know me. I stand up for the little guy. I never take from people. And I'm mighty. I can take whatever I want. 
and I'm right about politics and religion and all this shit. I know the secrets of the universe and how we could all get along. I talk a lot about how I hate Jews so much, but it's not racism, motherfucker. I don't acknowledge race. It's a nationality. Membership is voluntary. They can just stop being Jew. Any Jew can stand up and be like, this shit's crazy. Fuck off. I'm not a Jew. And that's fine. But where did the concept of the tribe sticking together and one people being what you call a race? Where did racism really come from? Well, it comes from the Jews. They said that the tribes shall not mix. You know, stay with your own kind. And uh, the, the nigga that fucked with me right now, the one the fat bitch get a restraining order and shit, her son was on my YouTube channel sending me shit about how my people are from the Caucasus Mountains. I don't know if that's true or not. It could be, it may not be. But the thing is, he don't know, because even I don't know, because of the adoption. But that's already been done. I took a DNA test. We're going to see. And my hypothesis was Far East Asian Russian lineage because I read some stuff about their teeth patterns that I share that, that thing and I do have a unibrow I just shave it um, my body temperature indicates like I'm, I might have been from a very 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 cold place uh, I don't know but we shall see I need to get this fixed too. I'm waiting. I have to wait for the crypto spike, the next crypto spike, but I will. I'm going to get this fixed. I'm going to roll around with the sign on it saying I'll sell it and it's going to be all dialed in and shit. So it'll be worth a lot. And I'll eventually, I think I'll manage to get a good chunk of money back out of it. I could get four or $5,000 for this fucker. Mm, all right. So, I'm gonna, I'm getting salty now, dude. I'm fucking, I got a head buzz too. A little piece of mushroom. <laughs> uh, so let's see. Get cleaned up. Get relaxed. Get in bed early. Get some good rest. Get up tomorrow. And I'm gonna post up and fly my sign while I let my mind think and be serious for a bit. And then when I'm tired of that, I'm gonna go do a little mini va not really vacation but I'm going to do an event and film it what else oh yeah share like subscribe you fuckers I, I, I've been watching I've seen that a lot with other YouTube channels and I, all, I seem to forget the subscribe button the thumbs up button especially the share button please it doesn't cost you anything help a poor man out it helps me spread the word get my foot in the door so to speak if you'd help build me up instead of tear me down I'd be better off okay I'm not bragging this right now. I'm not bragging. I don't know, I'm a bragger, but I'm just trying to survive and doing the best I can. I'm damaged goods. I'm fucked up. Urgh, that annoys me. It's an expensive lock. You know, that's the highest grade master and shit. All right. I have to go. Oh, and donations, please. We we have a Patreon donor again. Finally, we have a five dollar a month guy. Thank you very much. I'm not sure he wants his name out there or anything, but I do have a new Patreon donor, and he'll, he'll for sure see this, so thank you very much. Um, I think I'll send him a private message and ask if he wants anything, so he wants a video. Like, he'll, he can pick a video. You want to do a service dog access check? Oh, that's what... And it's up in the... My microphone's up in the fucking... Yeah. I got to go do that. Uh, yeah, I, I keep meaning to do more but people like this stupid fucking nigger getting a restraining order all that it's she lied on me she said I threw rocks at her house she said I threatened to kill her and her kids she made it up she said that I snagged her parking space that we made eye contact and she saw that I was there and she left to go get her kids from school and I moved my bike and took her parking space complete lie complete lie complete lie I never, never had an interaction with her before 
she overheard me talk to the Christian and dropped the hammer on me. Okay, what I what am I? What do I got to put? Okay, I gotta finish tidying up here and. Well, I need more positives. Talking to the dude today from the, the festival reminded me of that. I want more positive stuff, like going partying. And, and he, the service dog right stuff is still positive to me. Because if they fail, I'm warning them. I'm giving a chance to get their shit together so what happened to me doesn't happen to someone else. Because if someone comes in and they don't know and they fuck with them, it can fuck their life up like it did me. So do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Okay. Look at how much trash. <laughs> a whole, whole fucking. I got a whole bo- a, a box of decent grade trash bags. I'm trying. I'm getting organized. It's coming along. And I've got all the office supplies and a little desk. Those, there's locks down there, and it's a nice chair that sits just right. It's just, and they like me here. Um, I've warned them about, about stock orders. There's no problem. Everything's been good. Uh, but they raised my rent. <clears throat> I'm paying 211 now, and it's shocking. There are a lot of local haters, too. Like, oh, Paul M. Fullerton. That'll be the bully sign-off. Um, the war, the Bully of the Week award or whatever goes to the uh, uh, Pauly Fullerton. This dude, the shit you saw on the flyers put up in the neighborhood, he's telling people, like, first of all, I, w- I want him dead just because he's friends with the wrong person. You know how disingenuous that is, motherfucker? No, you're part of a terror team that's been harassing me for years. He also said that I never made a penny from YouTube. No, no, I was making thousands and thousands of dollars, and this dude and a bunch of people false reported his child pornography and took it down. Okay, everything he says is a lie. He, he, he puts in there, oh, I, I raped 16-year-old girls in my van. No, nope, never raped anybody. And... These the 16 year old girls he's talking about me having sex with was years and years and years ago that the, the, it brings a tear to my eye like I'm not okay like it's it's a negative don't even bring it up man, 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 man. so oh and, and that, like they said with Crystal too they said she was underage and I was raping her she's three months younger than me and we were banging in 2003 like just bringing that shit up was horrible guys horrible and the carolyn and kimberly thing i don't understand but i think that's part of the point they're playing mind games which i guess they were doing like as a kid too like ah stop poking the bear i'm gonna make it not fun for you if i go off the blame comes to you just stop. Stop fucking with me. What do you gain? Alright, fuck you all. I gotta get going. <sighs>